Hi there, my name is Naomi Nigo and I am the founder of Fab Freedom, which stands for Food and Body Freedom. I've created a system and a process that is based on my own experience of freedom around food and my body image. A challenge that kept me, a dual challenge I should say, that kept me pretty much locked up for over a decade of my life. I've been free for over a decade. And during that time, I've learned so much about how to support and guide other women in that same process. I've supported and guided hundreds of women. And I feel that this issue is pretty pivotal in unlocking our creative passions, our talents, and stepping into a life of freedom and joy for every one of us. So I'm gonna speak a little bit about perfectionism today because it's something that I see in most every single woman that I work with. And it seems that this relationship that we have with food also comes with some certain character foibles, perfectionism being one of them. Certainly that was something I discovered in myself as well and continue to see in other women. And the good news is, is that there's a very common medicine that we have that can free us around perfectionism with food, perfectionism with our bodies, how much our bodies weigh, how our bodies look, and also perfectionism in our lives in general, how we show up in life, our relationships, our jobs, everything across the board. Because in my experience, when we're perfectionist in our relationships with food, perfectionist in how our bodies should look, in fact, when we say should, in every area of our lives and expect ourselves to be perfect or working towards perfection in all these areas of our lives. We're actually holding ourselves back. We're stunting ourselves. And when we can be free in the area of food and body, no longer locked up in perfectionism, we also find that we can free ourselves creatively, we can free our energy up, we start to experience new adventures in our lives and discover new capacities and new potentials to just be ourselves, to just have fun. And when I talk about a common medicine in all these areas of our lives, what I notice is that there is something inside us which is actually our real selves. And it's this amazing quality. It's like, actually it's completely untouchable. No matter what we've been through, no matter how much we may have suffered in our relationship with food and our body, and in fact, in many areas of our lives, even if we've suffered as a child, which many of us have, with some really tough stuff, actually this medicine, which is our real selves, it actually can't be diminished, it can't be destroyed, it's completely untouch in untouchable. And that is the medicine that I myself discovered and practice keeping contact with because it's actually a really precious jewel it's a precious medicine that can guide us out of the fear thinking of perfectionism out of that small contracted place that we can get into when we're analyzing and obsessing over our relationship with food over how our bodies should look over other areas of our lives that we think should be a certain way when we connect with our real selves, we can be guided out of that snare and our lives really start to free up. I know this is true because I'm really enjoying recording this video, even though I'm holding it with my hand. So my hand is shaking. My hair isn't particularly brushed. I'm not necessarily having a good hair day. And yet I'm still able to connect with you. I'm able to be myself. And that is a complete miracle. That's a complete miracle. And another miracle is that I listen to my body these days. I eat from a place of knowing that I'm nourishing myself. I'm confident in my choices. I feel safe within my body and I trust myself. And I don't say these things lightly. These things come from practicing listening to my real self and having my real self guide me into those new miraculous places of joy. Nothing to do with perfection. I'm not that. But I do feel like myself today and I do know it's possible. And I'll know it's possible till the day I die. I'm going to keep saying it's possible and keep reminding you 
that you too can connect with your real self and find a way out of perfectionism when it comes to your food, your body and your life. So I'm Naomi Nigo. It's been a delight to connect with you. If you want to find out more, then click on the link below and explore my website, which has many resources, ideas and first steps, simple steps, manageable steps, imperfect steps into this thriving new life you, you too can experience on the other side of perfectionism. Thank you.